because you just hurt me. Say it I'm again. Not gonna do, do it because it's a difference between me telling you, my friend, and fellow black person who goes through the same shit. Like, the industry is inherently racist. We won't use it no if you don't one want. No one wants to be racist. No one wants to be racist. There is no one person that sits there and goes, I'm racist and I'm gonna keep black people off TV and I'm gonna characterize black people in a certain way. It's an entire system and structure that has been in place for a very long time. It's a collection of things mounted on top of each other that make it racist. It's not one guy that you can point to one executive producer and be like, he said the N-word, so he must be racist. That doesn't have anything to do with it. It's a Yo, Thomas, be quiet for two seconds, man. It's a systematic thing that's happened over many, many years. It's because we're in America. Of our, our entertainment industry is- So what can we do? I mean, we can write. We can keep writing. I think that's the only thing, is keep writing and keep producing and not fall into... I mean, the hard thing is to write and produce things that can still be commercially viable, that are conscious. Because who does that? Yeah, yeah. I even feel like Spike Lee gave up on black people in a way, because he was like, y'all don't want to come see my shit, and I'm trying to talk to you. And then That's we, real. And then we were like, mm, I think I'm gonna go see Big Mama's house instead of fucking She Hate Me or whatever. That was may not have been a perfect movie, but it was interesting and trying to talk about issues in our community and shed light on the black experience. And I feel like even he's like, whatever. I'll just use Denzel and hire a whole bunch of white people and y'all will go see that. 